I'm a strong woman. I can do whatever I want. Ah, why am I so weird? Oh. Hi, and welcome to my first ever makeup tutorial. I will be trying to do this whole video in English, and please don't judge me for my mistakes, because that is not my mother tongue. I will be trying to do Hela, the goddess of death from Tor 3, Ragnarok. My Hela cosplay is from Pro Cosplay Official. I will link it in the description down below. I am so professional. <laughs> Pointing at my description. I'm just gonna do this messy whatever nest thing on my head. Like this. I think we should make it a trend on this channel to rock some ugly, messy hairstyles. I'm trying to do a makeup tutorial, but I'm not a professional whatsoever. I didn't learn makeup. I just watched many YouTube tutorials in my life. To start Hella, I always use some very bright foundation. For that, I'm using a very bright concealer that I found. This one is from Essence and I'm just putting that all over my face, especially concentrated on high points of my face, like underneath my eye. I hate the smell of this. This this smells like plastic. Do you want to smell? Doesn't smell that bad. I don't like it. So basically I'm just applying it all over the face. Nothing special or interesting. I should have started the video just with the foundation on already. I know this is not the high point, but I'm trying to carve out this cheekbone area, which um, basically means I'm putting highlight here and here will be a strong shadow, also a little bit on the eyes. I know concealer on the eyes is not the best, but I don't care. I'm not a professional. Smell my actual concealer. It smells much better. Almost like nothing. I prefer the first smell. No, you don't. I do. It smells like melted plastic. Maybe I shouldn't put something on my face that smells like melted plastic. Don't you want to be the Barbie girl that's been through the oven of hell? No, you reminded me of Toy Story 3. Thank you. So I'm just blending out all of this mess with my even more messy YouTube sponge. <laughs> what? <laughs> YouTube sponge? <laughs> Why? My head is really weird sometimes. Blend it out to God in heavens and to hell because you want to be hellish like Hella <laughs> and try to be funny but actually be cringy like me. I'm taking way too long to blend this shit out. It's already drying. It will probably look really ugly in the end. Also, I'm very sorry that I'm not looking into the camera so often because I have my mirror right there. It's a small little mirror. I felt like, like Lady Gaga for a second. Small little mirror. I'll be your galaxy. Oh no. <laughs> I'll be your galaxy. By the way, just because I'm lightening my face doesn't mean that you need to lighten your face. I mean, I'm just trying to look dead and gray because Hella looks dead. So the only thing that you need to do is look dead. When you have a deeper skin tone, that doesn't mean that you have to lighten it up. Love your skin. I will set all this concealer with some translucent powder. Uh, something that you should always take into account when you do makeup for conventions and photo shoots is don't put on too much because it will crease and it will look ugly and fake and it will just go flying off. I'm just packing on a light coating of powder everywhere where I put some product so it will stay in place. And after that I will start to draw some shadows because Hella has a lot of them. And for that I take a brush and my super old palette that does not look nice. There's some lipstick on it, I don't know why. Contour, bronzer and highlighter that I never use because this highlighter is way too dark for my skin. Always when you draw shadows on your face you should always try and get a shade that's more gray than red because shadows are not red. Hella has some very high cheekbones so I will try to mimic those. Put some here. I will blend that out, don't worry. I have high cheekbones anyway but um, you just want to make the shadow a little bit darker or stronger 
And also, when you want to achieve higher cheekbones, just put the shadow a little bit higher than your actual shadow is. And your cheekbones will look higher as well. And then blend that shit out. Also, Hella smiles a lot. That's why she has some creases here and there. And I will try to mimic those as well. For that, I just smile and do this. And now I have some smile lines, but I will darken them up. I'm blending it out now. Always try to blend up. Never blend your shadow that you painted on downwards, because when you do that, you basically put the shadow from here to there, which makes your cheekbones less high. And you want them high, especially for this woman here. Take a little bit more and put it here. And... Here and here because Hella has a very thin and long face and also I think what her makeup art artists try to do is make her look like a skull. A skull? Like a skull. Because she's the goddess of death and we are trying to look dead and she apparently also tries to look very dead. Highlighter goes on the high points of your face and where your face naturally catches light. Of course, the area that all people put on some highlighter is the cheekbone, like right here. And of course, on the other side. And then I just use my finger on the nose, is always a good place. And also, just look where it catches light and put it there. Also, sorry for flipping you off, but um, I don't know, I always blend stuff out with my middle finger yeah now i will show you how i do the eyeshadow so first things first i start with a dark purple and just sketch out where all her eyeshadow is laying because also she has some purple in her eyeshadows overall so her eyeshadow is here like that all over her eye and it blends out. Also, I'm doing the makeup that Hella has in the beginning of her appearance. When she comes out of the portal and is like, hello there. Her makeup is extra messy there. Like she has shadow all over her eyelids and it literally blends up to here. Like it's real dramatic eyeshadow. And she has many different alternative looks in the movie, but I'm doing the very first one. I just do a rough sketch, really, where the shadow needs to be. And I try to do the same steps on this side at the same time, just so it turns out symmetrical. Now I will take a black eyeliner pencil, but it's like this Kajal or crayon kind of pen. And I just fill in my eyebrows. She has some very sharp, thin eyebrows and her shape is pretty similar to my shape. So I will just follow my natural shape. I didn't know I could say shape that often in one sentence. Damn. Also, you really want to make her eyebrow pointed upwards. It shouldn't be straight or downwards even, so your whole eye looks slanted in the end. I look so weird. <laughs> I'm just gonna brush it out a little bit um, so that the color blends in with the natural hairs. Because, let's be real, painted on eyebrows just don't look good. <laughs> I will now take some black eyeshadow, finally, and work on the actual Hella look and try to not look like a clown anymore. I will just start with the outer corner of my eye and darken that area up first.
something very important about Hella's makeup is to keep the brow bone clear of any dark pigment because she has like a white spot right here. Keep that one in mind. And I just blend it out right where I blended the purple shadow first. Yeah, it looks very spotty. Hella has some very dark under eyes, so I will be darkening that area up as well. Be messy with it, just don't try to overdo it, because that will mess up the whole look in the end. And always look at your reference picture. I'm blending the eyeshadow into the temple of the face, of my face, um, so that also the cheekbone gets a little bit more action. <laughs> and also, again, the temple gets deepened up, which means I look more like a skeleton. She has a quite harsh line right here, it's not really blended. And the whole shadow is blended down here, which gives her cheek area and cheekbone way more highlight because it's such a contrast be between her eyeshadow and cheek. That's what I'm trying to do as well. I also like to use my fingers and again, sorry that I'm flipping you off. Hell yeah. Hella. Hella yeah. And now I will try to do this on this eye. Okay, now I'm blending um, the eyebrow a little bit because her eyebrow is extended to her nose bridge and connected to the eyeshadow. Okay, basic shape is laid down. Now I will just darken up some places and blend the eyebrow. I think the shadow is done now. I will continue with some eyeliner and lashes. Hella doesn't have a lot of eyeliner, but I like Hella's eyeshadow look with some dramatic eyeliner. So I'm actually not quite accurate with that one. Basically do cat eye. Okay, and also Hella's uh, liner goes to the inner corner of her eye. And I hate that part. Also, don't try and uh, stab your eye. Don't try to stab your eye. <laughs> Extend it like that. And connect this inner little eyeliner thing to the actual... Now try and make the other side symmetrical. I'm not that good at doing that. <laughs> <laughs> no! Whatever. I will just scratch it off with my nail. Nice. Now I'm red there. Uh, I will take some concealer and try just to stipple a little bit on there. So now I will tight line my eye. I'm taking this Crayon Kayal pen again. And tight lining means basically darkening, uh, darkening up the waterline of your eye. Also do the upper... Uh, <laughs> also do the upper lash line. Okay, so... I will... Put in some contact lenses now because Hella has shum, shum, yeah. Hella has some hella bright eyes. I first need to take out my other lashes. Now I'm blind. 
I can't see anything. I will put in my blue contact lenses. I got them from TTDI. It's called The Third Eye and I'm just now reading it. I didn't know that it's actually called The Third Eye. So I was always like, TTDI, what does that mean? <laughs> they also sent this little thing and everything with the contact lenses. They're pretty nice. I like them. Not spons. <laughs> I'm blind. Oh God, help me. Um. Also, I suggest everybody who tries some very complicated makeup on their eyes to put the contact lenses in before you do the makeup because contact lenses can get quite unpleasant in the eye and when you cry it messes up the makeup that you worked on for an hour. And I really hope that this works out right now. Use this finger and pull down the skin and put in the contact lens. Yeah. Ta-da! I have one blue eye. Two blue eyes and I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> sad. <laughs> hello is sad. And no, I'm not gonna say hello is hello sad. And this is exactly why you should put in the contact lenses before the makeup. But hey, it worked out. The only thing missing now are the lashes and the lips. I'm just gonna line my lips with this nudish pinkish lip liner. She has some very natural looking lips, so I'm not gonna overline them or anything. I'm literally just following my own lip line. Hella has a very uh, wide mouth. She almost looks like a frog. She's very smiley. She loves to smile. So I'm actually going to try to make my lip, my upper lip, look a little bit more wide. I'm going to draw it a little bit out. And now I'm going to take a brow pencil and I'm just going to draw my mouth wider a little bit. Just so there's a little bit of shadow and it looks like my mouth goes to here or something. Yeah. Just gonna go like that. You also have to be pretty careful with that because it can look pretty bad fast. Now you have some shadow here, so your mouth look looks a little bit wider automatically. I hope. Yeah, lashes. Lashes and wig. I hate the lashes because I'm not good at putting on some lashes because I don't wear them in my everyday life and because this smells so bad. That's lash glue. It smells like, well, it's latex, I think, and uh, it, it smells like something went bad. Blech. It smells like rotten fish to me, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't put something on my eyes that smells like dead fish. Where you are. Oh god. Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna smell like death itself. I just coated my lashes in a little bit of mascara because when I put on some fake lashes, I don't want um, my natural lashes to peek through. Like, hello. I got some lashes. They are from Ardell and they are made in Chion. There probably is a country that actually is called Qian that I don't know about and I'm like, <laughs> they don't know how to spell China. Just a little bit of glue. That was a lot. Coat the lash a little bit. I'm really not good at doing that, so please don't judge me. The glue dries out clear, so don't worry. The white stuff won't be vis visible. Visible. Visible, visible, visible. I think I actually made it in one try. Damn. I have to write that down in my diary. Dear diary, today I managed to cool a lash in one go. Finally, I'm closer to being a woman. A real woman. I always wait for my lashes to get a little bit tacky, so I don't have to wait for them to dry on my lid, because they will fall off instantly. He. <laughs> Are you dry, tacky, whatever? I'm just gonna pop it on and see if it works or not. I don't know. 
now I just need to put on the wonderful, wondrous wig. I still think it's funny that in English it's called wig and in German it's called perücke. Do you want to get me my perücke? My perücke is with the rest of my hella cosplay. Where is this hella cosplay? The cosplay is behind the tür. Oh my god, dann werde ich doch gucken. This is how we always talk in German. What? What? It's a wig. It came from the sky. Thank you, sponsor eagle. My wig is from wig is fashion. Yeah, the wig is from wig is fashion. Yeah. It's a nice lace front wig and uh, yeah, it's it's just a wig. I I don't I, I, blah, 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 blah. I don't know what to say about the wig. I still have to style the wig because Hella has some very damaged and strainy, strandy black hair. And this wig is like really pretty and with some nice waves worked into it. And it's like real shiny still, even though I put a lot of dry shampoo into it. Okay, we have to say goodbye to this little mess of a bun. <laughs> goodbye. I will not put my hair together in a braid or something because my hair is short enough to just put it underneath the wig cap this way but when i had long hair i really had problems putting on wigs because i literally had hair to my waist and it always looked really weird when i used to put on wigs <laughs> I think I look amazing with wig caps on. I mean, look at this snatched ears. <laughs> I look so dumb. Oh my god. You desperately try to be funny in a video. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I will be dead serious now. <laughs> That does not look that bad. I've had worse moments with this wig. Uh, can you give me my brush? Oh god, thanks. Yeah, so you see the wig is still really pretty and everything and Hella's hair is pretty but in its own way. So the first time I wore Hella I actually spray painted my natural hair black and the color got everywhere. That's why I decided to get a lace front wig. Since it's that shiny, I'm gonna put on a little bit of dry shampoo. You can also try and do that with baby powder. And brush it out again. So this is basically my Hella makeup. Mm how I do it before I go to conventions and uh, I don't know how to do outros. If you like this tutorial and like what you see, I would really appreciate you leaving a like and maybe share it with your grandma and your dog because I think your dog would actually look pretty good with some hella makeup. Yeah, do you think so too? As always, of course, I will just say to. <laughs> Okay. Now, I think it's safe to say that there's a question everybody dies to know about. How did you experience the short amount of indescribable fame? Um, it's nice, I guess. You look like Qui-Gon Jinn. Damn, if Qui-Gon Jinn looked like that, Jar Jar would have ran away. That would be a twist. <laughs> Qui-Gon like...
and Jar Jar 